Debugging means removing bugs. If debugging is removing bugs, then what is coding? Basically, on the, on the lighter side, coding is adding bugs, right? Welcome back, aliens. My name is Devin Reddy, and in this video, we'll talk about less lines of code or more lines of code, or maybe we can say short code versus long code. Now, this is actually a debate uh, happening recently. In fact, uh, when I was talking to my friends and then when I take sessions as well, we have this general question, right? Should I make a code shorter or should I keep it as it is or should I make it a long form? So there was a, there was a rumor that a top company CEO were firing people or judging people based on the number of lines of code they have written. It's almost something like judging a plane by the weight, right? In fact, that's, I have read that somewhere. So basically, you can't judge someone by just by the number of lines of code they are written, right? See, the same feature can be implemented in a shorter way, or the same feature can be implemented in multiple lines of code. And of course, when you learn something, when even when we teach as a trainer, we try to make code as long as possible. The reason for that is we are teaching, right? When you are teaching, you want to keep things simple. But then on the other hand, when you are making an application, you try to reduce the line of, line of code by doing some tweaks or using some shortcuts and you will try to reduce the lines of code. By doing that, what you're doing is you are limiting the number of lines so that when you push the code, it will have less line, it will look uh, good, right? I, I don't know, there are different reasons why you, you will write a shorter code. Now, I want to take this debate in multiple uh, scenarios. In fact, there are three things we have to observe. The first thing is, Readability, the second one is maintainability, and the third one is security. So let's talk about these three things. Now, let's talk about the readability. So when you write an application or when you write a code, of course, you will be having multiple pages, right? Multiple files and multiple lines of code. Now, if that code works, we feel happy that the code is working, you're getting the output, of course, you will test it, and everything is good. The problem starts there. It's working for you, and you can read the code now, but after one week, even you will not understand what you have written forgot about others. In fact, in your team, you'll be having 10 members, 20 members. They have to understand what you have written. And the same code will be read by multiple people, right? So let's say the project is completed. After some time, you want to maintain it. After some time, you want to um, update some features. Of course, they will read your code, right? Uh, in fact, Martin Fowler famously said, in fact, there's a statement here, any fool can write code that a computer can understand a good programmer write code that the humans can understand. So you have to make sure that you write a code which is readable. In the long term format, when you have a longer code, sometimes it is easy to read. I'm not always, okay? Sometimes the shorter code is easy to read because, uh, you know, in some of the languages, we have this amazing feature where you can actually read the lines and you understand what is happening. And that's why one of the reasons I'm, I, I love Java is because you can actually read Java. You can actually read a Java code as a story, right? Uh, so that's one thing. So you have to make sure that your code is readable, even if for the short, longer format or shorter format, you have to decide on based on that. Next criteria here we have is maintainability. What if someone changes one line of code in your in the entire file? Will it affect the other code? Because if you have a shorter code, sometimes you're not sure what is happening behind the scene. And if you want to change something, then you have to rewrite the entire code. So check is your code maintainable? If you want to make some changes, if you want to uh, change the version, will it affect the entire project? So those things are also important for the longer code or the short, for the shorter code. Example, so when I compare a longer and shorter code here, this example, let's say we have if this method, which has if, of course, we can reduce the if line with the help of the ternary operator. On the other hand, in Java, we have this anonymous in a class. If you are implementing an interface with, with functional interface, uh, you can basically use a Lambda expression there. So you can choose which one looks better and which one is more maintainable. So those are, the, those are the questions you have to add. Now, one last point which I want to add here, which is very important, which is regarding security. I mean, of course, uh, in security as well, the most important thing is bugs, right? Uh, so let's say when you talk about a bug, what is debugging means? Debugging means removing bugs. If debugging is removing bugs, then what is coding? Basically, on the, on the lighter side, coding is adding bugs, right? So that means if you write more lines of code, there's a higher chance that you are actually introducing bugs. So if you write a small code, there's a chance that you are writing less codes. In fact, I also prefer to use frameworks, right? So what happens is, let's say if there's a framework and that framework says we will give you these features, 
But those features you can implement by yourself. What's a good solution? Should I implement the code by ourselves or should I use the framework libraries? The answer is if you use a framework libraries, they are well tested. So if you're using that, it is for sure, let's say if you have 100 lines of code and the library part is 50 lines of code, you know these 50 lines of code are well tested. You just have to focus on your code, which is 50 lines, which you have to test. But if you write the entire logic by yourself, basically you have to test everything. Now why I'm saying the test, the libraries are good is because they are well tested, they are used by multiple people, right? So there's a good chance that those libraries have been well tested and they work perfectly. I'm not saying all library works. We have seen recent uh, uh, attacks on different softwares based on the libraries, but most, most of the time they are good. So in terms of security as well, in that way, I prefer to write short codes. So in terms of readability, long code, in terms of maintainability, again, that's where you have to decide between long and short. In fact, for readability as well, again, that's a debate, right? I, I don't know the answer. So I'm just, I just want you to think about this. Okay, it's not about which is good. It's about at that point, which is better. Do you want to make your code more readable? Yes, that's very important. So choose long code versus short code. See what looks good, what is more readable. Uh, in terms of maintainability as well, you have to compare that. And in security, I feel it's always the shorter code. So given a choice, I will write short code, which will have less bugs compared to the long, uh, longer code. And if you get a chance to use libraries which are pre-tested and well-tested, use libraries and try to get your work done. So again, it's a big debate. Let me know your thoughts. What do you prefer? The longer code or the shorter code? And please don't judge the developers based on their number of lines of code they have written for the same feature.